Hello, I'm Hamish McTackleberry, and welcome back to my Stardew Valley Expanded Series. It's been some time, but Update 1.15 is here, and boy, did it bring a truckload of things for us to look at. We're gonna be busy with this one, folks. Okay, I haven't, like, been here in ages, so, um... This is my tiny estate. Oh, here's my wife. Don't get your own groceries. What are you... You're supposed to be an adult. Oh, this one is my child, I think, but that this one... I. What is this doing here? Oh no, this is something left over from those polyamory mods, isn't it? It's very demonic, I don't like it. Speaking of demonic, here I am at the portal that used to take you straight, straight to the witch's hut. Now it takes you here, to this horrible, demonic, terrible maze place. This is a cutscene, by the way. <laughs> Shut up, you damn broad! The henchman's here. And the henchman is annoyed that they lost their job and want you to gather them a bunch of mushrooms and stuff because they, they think that'll get them their job back. You're much quieter than you appear. I didn't expect you to actually show up. Oh yeah, that's right. He sent me like a letter. And he's like, wow, help me fix my life. I'm a loser. Like I could care less. My boss was furious that I allowed you into her home. I took all the blame for that. Stolen ink. Again, I, I, I do not care. Anyway, this is what the quest looks like. You basically need to run around this horrible swamp maze and gather up all of these uh, swamp flowers and red mushrooms and purple mushrooms and morels and chanterelles. It is a nightmare in here. Spawn rates are up when it comes to enemies in this, uh, in this update. Not as difficult as the Crimson Badlands, there's lots of really new interesting enemies in here. I mean, like, I'm a badass, so none of this stuff could touch me anyway. Didn't use cheats or anything. Uh, ignore the infinity mushrooms I have there. Uh, once you're done with this, you will have access to the, uh, goblin guy, what, whoever he is. He'll be like an active NPC with lots of heart events. Eventually, when you get him to ten hearts, you get access to this amazing region behind his house. Yes, new dark shrines with new powers for you to touch. Touch? Use. Yeah, use. Like this one. You want monsters in the valley at night? You can do that for an ornate treasure chest. You wanna go back to war with the shadow people? This one's got your back. Prevent moss from, gr from growing for some reason? This one'll do that. I, I don't know why you'd want to do that one. And this one, uh, if you gather up goo from the new monsters, the big gassy green ones, you can get a money tree. More on that later, that's awesome. This one'll just give straight up give you life elixirs. Like so. Very handy. Uh, covered in sludge and emerging from the swamps, I was greeted by a bear coming out of Marty's house. Unbelievable sight, really. Hey there, Chungus. Just had a chat with a nice lady in there. My friends are ready to help out on your farm, but only if you got one of those new fancy premium bonds. A bear could rest up nice in one of those. Hashtag not sponsored. Oh yeah, um, after the encounter with the bear, I got an encounter with Scarlet, who dragged me on over to Pondwood, or asked me to meet her there, because she wanted to, like, take me on a hike or something, and this is all to do with the fact that Scarlet is now a marriage candidate. This is not one of her ten heart events or beyond or anything, this is just an event I got, which I guess is linked to the fact that she is now a marriage candidate. I'm not going to show you the whole scene, but it was delightful, it involved going into a treehouse and stuff. Good luck if you like Scarlet. The typography or something has been changed in the Highlands. It looks really dope up here now. Not to mention it has music. I don't know if the music is new to this patch, but the music's dope and the views are dope as well. Look at that. There's even this uh, crystal cavern up here that's got like crystal flowers. This is on the way to the, the summit in, uh, in the Highlands. A dazzling display of beauty and elegance, just like me. And when you get to the summit, you can see a lot of the new trees are on show up here. Delightful. There's the exit down there, and if you, this is how you get out. You just take this like back, back alley uh, exit, back road exit, whatever you want to call it. Fall down the hill. Up next, 89 different kinds of furniture have been added to the game, and they all seem to exist inside this thing, this catalog two thing, which you can actually get from the Stardew Valley Fair. But I just spawned it in because I, I'm a busy person. What can I say? You can get a toilet out of this. Look at that. Delightful. Freaking awesome. You know how long I'll be waiting to take a dump in my own house? Look at all the stuff in here. This is wonderful. You could take 
quite a bit of time styling up your own bathroom with a lot of the stuff in here. So I took my time and uh, created a bathroom because I was really sick of having to sneak into Olivia's house to use a bathroom. And I also went ahead and gave myself a little games console as well as a couple in there. I like the color scheme. What wonderful to be honest. No doors, so no privacy uh, in the bathroom, but uh, I finally have a throne of my own. My wife went ahead and used a lot of the other uh, new things to build like this like cool little activity room, I guess. Like a sewing room. Every almost everything in here is from that new uh, catalog. Except maybe the rug and the plant and stuff. Looks, looks nice to be honest. Daryl spent any time in here at all. Next up, I'm over at my uh, my vineyard, uh, which used to be called Aurora Vineyard. Now it's just Joji Vineyard, I guess. If you ship enough wine, you can get a winery. I'm gonna eat a bunch of wine into my shipping chest. You need about 500, and I'm finishing off the amount that I need here. This triggers Mars turning up the next day. Good morning, Hamish. Jojo Berry has produced a lot of wine over the seasons. You should consider building a winery. I took the liberty of procuring the building blueprint from Robert. But be warned, it's quite pricey. Thank you, Morris. Okay, I'm thinking they're going to dump the winery outside my house. I know I don't have any space here. Look, my, like my greenhouse is like in the void somewhere. But I should be able to squeeze it in. Let's take a look at it. Jojo Berry Farm, please. One million smackaroos for this place provides ample casking space and a decorative dining area. Wines age 15% faster. You can only have one of these though. Look at the components. 50 kegs. I mean, I already had a lot of kegs anyway, so if you're a winemaker, this isn't so bad. You, you, I believe you lose those kegs. You don't actually get them back though, so that's... Th this is a big pricey thing to like dedicate yourself to getting. Yes, I'm gonna dump mine here right outside my front door. We'll see how that works for the time being. I got instant build on. So I can check that out right away. Uh, not too bad. There's a stone here that won't let me get through. So I have to go on the other side. Get this damn grass out of the way. Looks like a pretty cool building. Alright, let's go in. Okay, so we got plenty of space in here to put all the cake. What a delightful design. Wonderful. Big, spacious, echoey. Oh, can you... Can you imagine all the things you could do with this space? You can sit here, you can sit there. And you got a bar, which you can tend for all the friends that you have. I think I have friends. Do I have any friends? I used to have friends. A lot of people came to that f funeral for my wife. How many wives have I... I don't remember my life. Okay, from one new building to two more fancy buildings that we're going to build. And we can actually build them over in Grampleton Fields. Houses six, look at this, premium barn. Houses 16 barn dwelling animals. Comes installed with an auto petter, grabber, and heater. Quarter of a million. This new item, fur wax, is needed, which you get from fur trees. And you gotta build basically deluxe versions of the smaller buildings beforehand. They do not upgrade your current deluxe barns, though. These are complete separate buildings. To unlock them, you just have to have the deluxe ones already. And this fur wax component seems like it's going to take you some time to farm as well. Speaking of farming, these are the animals that go in there. We got camels. An exotic am animal from across the gem sea. Got bears. One of the bears buddies who will occasionally find jars of honey for you. They come as adults and live in the barn. Doesn't consume hay or grass. And geese. Gooses. Loved geese will lay eggs once every other day. Lives in the coop. Here I am! Welcome to the Georgia Berry Farm Grampleton expansion. Got camels out here. This one's called Grello. How you doing, Grello? Um. Oh. Oh, the bears got that really satisfying uh, noise. Oh, I like that. Big fan of that. Let's take. Let's check out the barns. Then here we got a big ass barn. And they come with auto petters and um, auto grabbers. That, mine's just reskinned to look like a robot because that's what my employees are now. Again, same setup. Delightful looking auto petter and auto grabber in place. Let's get some hay down. Hay now. We got geese now. Better give them some hay now. Yeah. I've made a bad decision doing this reference. 
I hate myself moving on. Okay, so here we have an example of um, high quality stuff, like the camel fur that goes in here. It's like a thing about what is that? A, like a loom or something that'll make yarn for us? And this this one's a like a butter churn. And here they are. These are the products you'll get. Obviously, we're not making milk here, but you can make butter if you want to. Using the old butter churn. And you can make yarn. Trees! Look at these new trees. These are a part of seven new trees. These are purely decorative trees that are, that are over in, uh, Gram in Grampleton. Very nice looking. You can see in combination with the other new trees just how neat they look. Here are the other six. Wonderful trees. Here we have a money tree. Very much like a money tree from Animal Crossing. And we already saw that the Dark Shrines will actually give you the seeds that you need to grow a money tree. And this is what a money bag looks like. Thousand gold per money bag. If we tap these ones, we get two new items out of there. Birch water and the fur wax that we need to build our premium buildings. This one is a nectarine tree. Check that out. Nect it's juicy and delicious. And uh, here, here are some of the other products. We got a pear tree and uh, what is it? A persimmon tree? What is this fat orange thing on the end? Well, there's the pear. Let's take a look at this. That's a meal you could make from it. And uh, the glazed pears, and this is a uh, pear itself. Let's take a look. Stuffed persimmon. Tantalizes both the pet. Look at that. Five farming. Got a whop load of defense from the glazed pears. You're really going to want to get your hands on these trees. You can buy the trees like you can all the other trees from PAs. So go get them. They're real good. More items. Is that nectarine from before? And uh, something that was baked using it. Uh, this is a cheese board. I think uh, Scarlet told me about this. And a birch water from the tree behind me. Even more items here. There's like 32 new items in this update. So this is only some. This is the bear honey. The camel yarn. The birch water. The fur wax. A couple of totems there. This is birch syrup. Get the recipe for this from uh, Pierre. It's, it's a cooking item. This is... S like a small hardwood fence and this stuff here this cool stuff is literally a hedge fence two new fences let's have a go with this uh, wind totem very satisfying it's gonna be windy tomorrow folks okay crops four new crops for all the different seasons I'm gonna grow them for you instantly here for the comfort of my uh my shed what we got here we got the golden carrot now that's rare Find golden carrots by digging them up on artifact spots. We got cucumbers as a regrowable. Sweet potato. Let's get this one out of the way. And this one's a butternut squash, I believe. New designs, new crops. Golden carrot has amazing energy on it. An incredible find if you can dig them up. Don't know if you can cultivate them into more seeds, but that could be really fun to farm on the whole. Cucumbers are a handy regrowable and a sweet potato. No doubt these things cook and juice and jam and do all kinds of stuff. Hi there folks, Turin here. There is a new farm available with this update called Frontier Farm. You can actually select it from the menu if you want to be able to use it. An expansive plot of land bordering the Fern Gill Republic Frontier. Many different wild trees are ruined here and there's secrets to discover. You start with one pear tree. This is one heck of a farm. We're gonna send Hadley in to check this one out for you. Hello there! I'm here on the frontiers of the Ferd Girl Wilderness or something. I'm quite excited about this map. It looks really cool. Let's take a look at it together. It's gigantic! So many different things. The greenhouse up there is Grandpa's shed down there. These are the exits. That one's up to the mountains. That one's to the bus stop. That takes you down to Marnie's. There's a middle one here that takes you down to the swing that Jas likes to swing on. And this one goes into the secret woods. Look, a pear tree. You start with a pear tree on this farm. Isn't that nifty? Goddamn juicy pears. Like I said, go up this way, work your way through, and you can get up to the mountains. So it's quite a bit different from the default map in terms of the layout. Going down this way will take you to the bus stop. Down here you've got minecart access, which you can get later on. Help you zip around your farm. That'll be a quest that you, you'll actually be able to do. One of three quests that happen on this farm. And here's the uh, 
How do you get the Marty's? This is the cute little middle bridge in the middle of the farm here. Boy, I'm having a time trying to get through these, uh, for all this here, uh, what do you call this stuff? Debris? What the hell happened here? Anyway, it was like a, ro like a freaking rock tree explosion. It's always like this. Who's throwing stones everywhere? Okay, let's get closer to Grandpa's shed here. Your grandpa, my grandpa, everybody's grandpa. Check it out. Very gated by the obstacles in the way, and there's even a money tree up there for you. When you eventually unlock it. Now here is another quest. It'll pop up much later in the game after you've been to Galdora to the Crimson Badlands. You'll get a quest from that blonde witch Camilla. To, and she'll fix up this bridge real good for you. Now I'm going to treat you to taking a look at what's on the other side of this. It's going to be like a spoiler. So if you don't want to see that, take a look at the uh, little chapters we got below. But anyway, here's all what is over yonder. Believe me, this place is gigantic. I don't know if I've ever seen a map quite as big as this one before. Check it out. I don't know what you could do with this. You could even build on this map if you want to. Robin could build here. I'd love to see what people come up with for this area. Build some sort of outpost here. I think maybe I'll do that in the future. Now up here is where you can find your mushroom cave. Yes, yeah, so that's where the mushroom cave is. Up yonder. What heck of a farm map here. Probably going to be using this one a lot. Turn to fill up my eyes are the wrong color. Oh uh, yeah, they are the wrong color. That's my bad. Anyway, I feel like I'm going to maybe build like a community farm here and train a bunch of people up to take on the Crimson Badlands or something. That could be fun. Hello, it's my turn to be in the video. I went and caught all of the new fish that are available with my little froggy friend here. This is, this is one of the new fish. It's the Wolf Snapper. This is the new legendary fish for Stardew Valley Expanded, the Alpha of Shearwater Bridge. I caught a diamond carp, a fiber goby, a swamp crab, an alligator, a viper eel, a barred knife jaw, an ocean sunfish, a blue tang, a tadpole, and a couple of sharks. Quite a challenge this was, especially the sharks. I'm gonna stick them all in, in this fish tank, because I looked on the item spawner and there was a you could have the community fish tank. I don't know if that's in 1.6 or I don't know what did that. But you can fit, fit a heck of a lot of fish in there. These sharks are really small though. It's kind of look how tiny that alligator is. That's silly. The well, the new legendary gave me a bit of a, a run around. I would say it was the most difficult legendary I ever uh, took on, but I, I caught it. It's quite cute, to be honest. Nice to have it. Quite on theme with the kitties and the dogs and all that you normally catch in there. Diamond fish was all right to get. It was in that new cavern. Specifically in that new cavern on the way up the hill in the highlands. God, it was a nightmare getting the ones in the new swamp area. I found out that using the wand was a really good tactic. But it was flipping difficult. I was on the knife edge all the time trying to catch these. Shift them out of the way with your wand. If you've got a wand at this point from Lance. From going to the highlands. And, you know, go for it. I was able to get the crab on the first go. But I didn't have to get my head kicked in while I was doing it. Flipping nightmare, believe me. I mean, I think it's a good idea to do it next to this portal so you can run away. Like so, and quickly heal yourself. It's a good tactic. When it came to getting the alligator, I actually let myself take one for the... For the... For the, for the team? Got fully decked. Turns out, even if you've lost all your health while you're fishing, you can still get the job done. Flipping hurt, it did. Got ripped off by Harvey for that one, but I did it. I beheld my fish inside of Harvey's doctor's place. Well, they're not really fish, it was a crab and a cater. The fiber goby was much easier to get. Uh, the enemies didn't swarm me in the highlands, so I was able to clear them out. And then I went over to Fable Reef and I caught quite a lot of the new fish from Fable Reef. Thankfully, a lot of them spawned there. And up at the mountains, you can get the new... T How you fish up a tadpole, I don't know. Don't ask me. Anyway, that's all the fish. Good luck. Good luck getting them. Welcome back, nerds. And it's time to get seriously nerdy now, as apparently we have seven new artifacts for you to uh, go out and get in the world. I'm guessing from the standard practice of getting the... I don't really know. I don't pay attention to this stuff, but here they are. Now I'm dressed up like this because I've been given a legendary quest for Marlon after doing a bunch of stuff that involved uh, unlocking the goblin as an NPC, 
Save the dwarf of the highlands. What was the other thing I had to do? Oh yeah, and you gotta go touch the treasure chest in that spooky cave in the Badlands. Those those are what I got, you gotta do to get Marlon to turn up with his quest for you. Thank you everyone for attending this meeting on such short notice. I'll get right to it. There have been sightings of legendary monsters in several regions that we must investigate. Legendary monsters? What do you mean? Flamboyant ancient creatures possessing incredible power, but are few in number and hide themselves. This better not be a metaphor for, like, queer people or something. What is wrong with you, Marlon? Freaking booba. There's three legendaries. The purple mushroom crab at the marshlands, the golden slime at the highlands, and the diamond sand scorpion at the crimson badlands. No, I wasn't saying anything about queer people. Queer myself, my husband's over there in the rocking chair. What? We're hunting them down. Where do we start? Alessia and Isaac, search for the diamond scorpion in the Badlands. Lance the golden slime in the highlands, and I will search the marshlands for the purple mushroom crab. Amish will assist with all regions. Wait a minute, that sounds like I'm doing the most work. You bunch of lazy- I don't care if your bow is ready. This is not Lord of the Rings. We don't have a moment to lose. This is where the fun begins. Oh, shut up. I'll have what she's having. Oh, my catchphrase didn't work as well as everybody else's. I feel bad now. Now, for this quest here, you might want these fancy, extremely expensive boots that you could get from Isaac. Or you might want these mage ones. Maybe for fashion reasons. I don't know. But boy, have I got bad news for you, folks. Check out me wailing away in the background here as I'm absolutely, utterly entrenched with enemies. No, you're not drunk. There's more than one Apophis on screen here. I don't know what's gone wrong with the with the tuning of difficulty in this patch, but oh my lord! I am th the legendary Joja Stammer, and this was somewhat overwhelming for me. No idea how anyone else would survive out here. Apparently this will be addressed in a, in, in a future patch, so just don't be too hard on yourselves if you struggle. So I definitely found all the legendary monsters off camera, killed them, and got these amazing items. Uh, the Mega Purple Mushroom, the rarest mushroom in the world sought after for its medical properties, the Golden Slime, it's real pricey and whatnot, this magic lamp did not have Robin Williams in it. I was pissed. Marlon doesn't really react th to you giving them to him. And then, randomly, you find these chests out in the Crimson Badlands and you get handed this monster splitter and this, uh, this shield, this nifty shield. And then Isaac turned up and was like, Oh, by the way, you, you got rewards waiting for you. And I was like, well, I nearly tripped over them, you loser. You're not cool and handsome or anything. I decided to make sure I had Vampiric on my monster splitter before I went out. You know, it sounds very erotic, calling something a monster splitter. What was that? Anyway, Vampiric actually proved to be really useful, as I didn't need to use cheats anymore. I mean, didn't use my full power anymore when I was in the uh, Crimson Badlands. This time round, uh, the uh, waves were not as brutal as before. It wasn't National Apophis Day. And the sword just about one-shots everything, apart from the, the more evil enemies. The dark-colored ones. And uh, Vampiric keeps you alive. So, that uh, really is going to be the sword to use in the future. The shield is more about giving you uh, a boost to your defense. I think it's better for running away from situations with. In fact, let's check him out here. Look at the damage on this sword. I added three defense to it to make myself a bit chalky, but the, the damage is crazy. It essentially works like a hammer. The shield, not so great at killing things, but again, you could switch to this and run away. So yes, there you have it. Update 1.15. There is so much to do in this update. So many little details. There's apparently se new secrets hidden all over the place that we'll have to find in the future to do a new secrets video, maybe? Good, good luck out there. Like, you've got a lot of things to do. I mean, you're farming bears now. What can I say? Well, not really. They're sort of like your buddies. It's kind of a Yogi Bear situation. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Remember to subscribe and like this video.